So there is a small fishing village, just a short trip from Dublin in Ireland, which is really a hidden gem. Dubliners escape there to see the cliffs, to walk along the coastal paths, but also to taste the seafood. Some of the best seafood in the wall of Ireland. It's a dream made of calamari, fried fish and fresh seafood. So obviously, I've got a few places that I want to see. I'm just gonna find one of those like traditional fish and chip shop just a snack um, that's one of the most famous special of bros and they've got different location around Dublin okay I got my fish smells fantastic just need to find a spot where to eat what are the chances that I'm gonna get robbed by the spirits now Got, yeah, so I got some garlic, my uh, big box with the chips and the fish. Um, Eleven ninety-five pounds, what euros? Let's open this box then. Let's try one of the chips. Mm. Nice and crunchy on the outside, and very soft and potato. Let's see this fish. Looks quite chunky. Mm. It's kind of interesting. The butter is not very crispy, but it's nice and salty. Wow. Mm. The fish inside is so meaty. Very lemony. Okay, this part of the fish is made much more crispy actually. Mm. Yeah. Really good fish. So we got a true Dubliners here. It's the man. Irish origin, yeah? Yes, my mother is Irish, uh, from Dublin, so I'm here visiting yeah. my family. Great. Should we sit outside or go? We're gonna stay here in one of these benches in the sun. Thank you. Cheers. They got quite a big menu, yeah, right? Fish, shellfish, sides, um, squid. Um. This is really like a Spanish place. They even have patatas bravas. Yeah. Chorizo. Yeah. Yeah, they've got some kind of Spanish influence here. It's tapas style, so I suppose we're just gonna get a few bits and pieces and sort of share them. Oh, wow. No, it's not. It's a flat white. It's a little bigger than a cortado. More like a latte. It's still good. Quite interesting choice. Latte with fish. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the oysters have arrived. They're quite big. Look at that. I think you want to squeeze some lemon on top? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a Let's go for the oysters there. Yeah, there you go. Cheers. Slancha, as they say in Ireland. Cheers. <laughs> oh, do they say in Ireland? Slancha. Slancha. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. Great. It's fresh. Fresh food for sure. Can I take it? Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, this is the crab spread on black, uh, brown bread. It's the calamari. Nice slice Tartar of lemon. Sauce. And this is tartar sauce, yeah. What do you think there is in this kind of paste? This is a crab paste. It's crab, I think there's yeah. onions, maybe parsley. Yeah. That's some traditional Irish brown bread. Yes, which I hope you've tried already. I've tried the soda bread. You have tried soda bread? Oh, you haven't tried Is that brown different bread. from the soda bread? There's different types of brown bread. My mom makes a really good Guinness brown nice. bread, actually. Oh, wow. Which I love. It's very rich. It's got nuts in it, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this crab then. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think there is anything complicated over over this thing. It's just crab, parsley. It's very lemony. Put some lemon on top. The brown bread is really good. Mm. That's delicious. Yeah. And maybe put some. Yeah. Some of this green. I haven't tried the calamari yet. Should we just go? I think it's plain mayo, isn't it? Or I think it's mayo, yeah. Plain Actually. mayo, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man, better calamari in Spain. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they look quite thin. Um, they're not bad, yeah. Nice and crispy on the outside. A little bit chewy, but not too chewy. Yeah. Yeah. I wish this was tartar sauce. Yeah, right. Uh, it's a tartar sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the most interesting dish is this thing. Yeah, monkfish in a. I think it's creamy parmesan sauce. There are some mussels, and we've got again a slice of bread. You want to get some half of this bread? Sure. Yeah. A big chunk of this monkfish and the bread and let's top it up with um, some of this creamy parmesan cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got a good bite here and so let's let's try this. This is the real winner here. It's nice and hot. It's super tender, it just the sauce is in your mouth. Love the freshness of the parsley on top and yeah, this creamy parmesan cheese sauce uh, complements really well. I always find it kind of interesting when people sort of mix seafood and cheese because it's kind of like it's a no no in Italy. Oh, really? like, yeah, but it seems like people are opening up to it. <laughs> Well, it's kind of different, isn't it? Like, so it's really good. You go, you go, well, it's, it's just mozzarella. Mozzarella is supposed to have like a okay. neutral taste, you know. It's yeah, not right. strong as parmesan. Parmesan is a strong cheese. That sort of the question is whether it sort of over, overwhelms the, the the delicate kind of taste of the fish. Yeah. It's almost like a a cheesy curry look. <laughs> Remember to give it a thumbs up. Oh, 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 oh,